everyone, Susan here with Life Stories, and today we have another story as usual. Um, I was at my office yesterday, and uh, it's been a busy couple of days and just needed a piece of chocolate, and we have this jar of chocolate in our office. And I say it's for the volunteers, but I know who it's really for. And um, I love dark chocolate, so we have some Dove dark chocolate in there. And, and uh, I open the chocolate, and you know they always have those little verses in the back of it. And it said, "Find someone to accept you completely." And it brought me to a story. Um, I have always struggled with um, fear, doubt, insecurity, and um, I found myself challenged. I was reading a, a book, and uh, one of the the books was talking about, you know, with my background in, in, in counseling psychology and social work. Um, I don't claim to be a biblical scholar at all here, so please don't think that's where I'm coming from. But this book challenged me in regards to my identity in Christ. And um, part of that identity in Christ was just that, that negative self-talk that we all say to ourselves. We say those things like, I'm no good, I'm too fat, I'm, I'm too this, I'm too that, or I'm, I'm not enough of this, I'm not enough of that. And uh, so I, I suffered with that same complex of not enough. And uh, so this book had challenged me to find a scripture verse that um, spoke to my heart. And so it gave a list of scripture verses, and I just want to encourage you that if you're looking for a verse to help you with your identity in Christ, just Google that, identity in Christ, and you will find a whole list of verses that will give you that. But for me, the verse that came to me was Ephesians 2.10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So in that verse, God spoke to my heart as I am his workmanship. I am his masterpiece. And, you know, when you find yourself saying, I'm not enough, I'm not enough, I'm not enough, that the battle became, I'm his workmanship. So I would go days talking to myself in a negative manner with such unkind words and I began to make a choice to choose to focus on that I was God's workmanship. And so those days turned to into a day of talking unkindly to eventually hours and then down to very minimal talking negative about myself, but talking about the fact that I am his and I am his workmanship. And he created me to do good things that he had prepared beforehand that I should walk in them. So I just encourage you that if you are struggling with those negative things, saying those negative things about yourself, if you're struggling with insecurity, self-doubt, go to God's word. This is how he spoke to me. And he's got something in there for you. And so find that verse and use that verse instead of those negative things to remember who you are in his eyes because that's the one who really counts. So this is Susan with Life Stories, where God takes our life stories and turns them into love stories.